This is America. Well, not this room. Not for you. Not quite. Think of this room as not quite America. That's where you were going, wasn't it? Or coming back to? This is new information. Before this, had you any idea where this room was? The village that the fishing boat took you, that was not America, although I take it they were kind. But you have made it now. You've arrived. We're on the coast of the state of Maine, very near the sea. Listen. Can't you hear it? Close your eyes and listen. I'm talking to myself, aren't I? Your plans to arrive in New York on approximately April 17th. Were you going to be met by someone? Family, friends, husband or fiancé. Children met by carriage or motor car or private railroad. Made us a little bit further north, less than a day's drive from New York. We could be in New York in less than a day. I could tear the sound out of you. I could rip it out with my bare hands, with my nails, with my teeth. Make you! The proceedings shall now be repeated in Finnish, Swedish. She's trying to outweigh me. I don't think she's trying to do anything. No? You think that she's telling the truth, that she's not a fake. There is a difference between not telling the truth and being a fake. What a subtle, complex mind you have. But I forget, you lean more towards the innocent, psychotic scenario. I am a dispassionate scientist. I do not lean. <laughs> Why are you here? For the sake of medical knowledge. For the gods of money I am paying you. For kicks. She's my patient. Yes, that too. You had told me that you would be fascinated to have the chance to come back to America, to a real hospital, to study the psychological makeup of a subject who either A, devised an elaborate hoax where she pretended to be a survivor of the Titanic, or B, actually believed she was a survivor of the Titanic. Those are the only two possible reasons for your interest, correct? No. There's a third reason. The study of a man intent on destroying a woman. You want to prove she isn't something. How do you prove a negative? How do you describe an absence? You say nothing. I don't want to destroy her. I want her to tell me who she is. You haven't told her who you are. 